Um, I, I think we need to look at um, the title of the panel. It says blockchain and business delivering real world benefits. And the real world benefit doesn't come from blockchain. It comes from the business. So, um, you know, when you, when you look at the concept, blockchain is just the technology. It's like using the internet, it's like using, um, you know, cranes to put uh, your containers. It's just a technology. You can have ports, just to follow on on, my, uh, on the previous example, that are non-profitable and don't really deliver any real world benefit if they are ran poorly. Uh, the same thing applies to any blockchain powered business that deals with real world assets or services or anything. For there to be real world benefits, the business needs to be structured in a way that benefits the world around it, whether it's economic benefit, whether it's social benefit. There has to be uh, a, a, an implicit design decision that's, that's made. So to use the real world examples, you can use blockchain to very accurately um, determine and track uh, ownership, provenance, whether it's land, it's art, it's anything unique. You can use NFTs to create unique identifiers that are digital and take those identifiers and allow very easy transfer of those assets. That's, that's real world benefit to everyone. Anyone who's owned um, any high art knows how difficult it is to get the provenance. Even for very well uh, documented pieces, um, you, you look at the work that needs to be done be, uh, for the authentication, for, for the verification of ownership and things like that. Uh, it can take months to just do a simple transfer, simple sale of, of a painting. Well, if you were to use blockchain, you could do the same verification assuming the system is already built and the uh, artwork is registered within minutes. So that's, that's one real world application that, that works really well using the blockchain. Same thing for real estate. Right now we have real estate registration rules that are different uh, from country to country. They don't carry over. Anyone who's bought real estate in, um, outside of their country of birth know that there are additional burdens. It's complicated. You can't... Um, uh, oftentimes really identify what needs to what needs to happen to prove true ownership and and you have to pay a lot of people a lot of intermediaries to work with you so that you can do it the right way well bring blockchain into it and now you can have a global land registry that everyone uses that's standardized and it's um, immutable so no one can own the same land twice, which happens in the current systems in many countries. You have contested properties, especially if they have not been used or if they have high value, and you have to deal with those things. Again, that's a real world benefit of implementing blockchain into, into these existing systems in a way where it eliminates human error, it eliminates middleman, and makes the process uh, much more beneficial for everyone involved. I think it's education. Um, more people understand what the technology is capable of. Um, I believe more people are going to be interested in using it. Now, you also can't go from a fully regulated centralized model to a completely unregulated and decentralized model. That's, that's just not possible. So you need to take baby steps, you need to still be compliant, you need to still be regulated, and you need to work with your regulators to educate them, then educate your clients and educate your industry so that when you do adopt the technology, it's welcome. And they're not basing their decisions on the pop news they read, you know, this, this uh, scam happened or this criminal activity happened uh, enabled by blockchain, which is ridiculous because 
everyone in this room knows the criminals don't use blockchain as much as they use fiat currency. Yes. It's much easier and, and much more comfortable for them. I mean, so we just need to educate and bring the education from within. If you educate your organization, it'll be easier to educate your regulators. If you educate your regulators, then it's easier to get industry adoption and proliferate.